This video is an introduction to the radial nerve. I'm using the butterfly and I also am going to make a video using a different ultrasound machine just for comparison. So we're going to use a musculoskeletal or a nerve preset. And the first thing we want to do is go to the mid humerus and find the uh, find the humerus itself. And just on the lateral aspect of the mid humerus right here. And in this particular case, the, the left side of the screen is going to be anterior. Like this. So here we are, we have an artery and a nerve. It's always very helpful to look at um, these structures um, and use your Doppler. Turn on your color Doppler. Sometimes you need a low flow setting um, to, to get some of these nerves to pop out. If you smush them, then you can even um, compress the flow in the arteries themselves. You can see I'm smushing this. Okay, I'm going to start over again. Let's cut this. All right, I'll do another spike. We're going to look at the radial nerve. I've put some gel along here already, which is going to be the course of the radial nerve. It comes from the posterior hubris and wraps around the spiral groove down into the anterior forearm and lies just deep to the brachioradialis afterwards. The left side of the screen here is going to be anterior to start. And the way to localize the radial nerve is to just go along the lateral aspect of the humerus, along the middle of the humerus itself. And we are going to look for our bony reflection of the humerus. And then we're going to scan proximal and distal until we can see the radial nerve and the artery that's associated with it here. We're going to use our Doppler to decide which of these structures is the artery and which is the nerve. There's going to be a vein here which is easily compressed. Here's our artery here. And our nerve is just to the left uh, of that artery. Okay, so now that we have localized our nerve, so we've, we see that we've got our nerve here, we've got several vessels with it, and then we're gonna follow these around. Now, the trick here is to, is to try and follow this in long axis, or sorry, short axis. And at this point, we are right on the, the humerus of the spiral groove, and this is where you're gonna find most of your pathology. So we're going to follow this along here. So here is the curve as we're coming around posteriorly. And you can see that without abducting the arm here, we really get stuck because the transducer is going to hit against the thorax. So you're going to have to abduct the arm as you come proximal. And then here at the proximal uh, portion of the humerus, the radial um, nerve then 
leaves the humerus itself and goes uh, up to the cords of the plexus. All right, now at the distal portion of the humerus here, we're going to follow the radial nerve as it starts to dive down deep to the brachioradialis. And it does a few things. The first thing it does here is begin to split. Now, In this area right here, we're going to straighten the arm a little bit. And you can see that there are several fascicles. The superficial radial nerve is going to rise And superficial I should be running out of gel I should adjust my presets but what I want to draw your attention to first is the supinator because the supinator is is a very important landmark right here so the supinator is just above the um, radius here So here's a supinator. Here's the radial head right here. Supinator. And the supinator is going to um, carry the posterior interosseous nerve. So here is the posterior interosseous nerve going through the supinator. We can see those fascicles here, roll around, and then comes out on the other side. At this point, it starts to split and lets off fascicles to then innervate the finger extensors. Here it is going back through the posterior interosseous nerves, going through the supinator. and then down to the radial, uh, radial nerve itself.